group will now offer free period products for its staff. Charity, the period place, worked with the group that owns the warehouse, Noel Lemmings and Torpedo 7, to make it happen. They knocked on the door and said, Oi, you've got to do this, and it's been done. To discuss this more is period place. CEO, Danica Revel. G'day, mate. How are you? I'm great. Nice Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. Well done, you. Thank you. I'm very proud of the mahi that they're doing there. It's very honest, and it's it's big change. They're how, a bloody big group. How did you get group. them on board? Did you send them an email? I sent them an email. I said, we love you. You're a red organisation, you know. You're already ticking that box. <laughs> You're a New Zealand institution. You've launched the $1 range, which is already changing lives. It's a quarter of the price of other things on the market. You know, we want to have a, a, a kōrero with you to talk about how we can create more change together. And they wrote back in 40 seconds. And said yes. And said, come on in. Well, not come on in. It was COVID last year. So they yeah. said, come on in via Zoom. Yes. And let's have a conversation. Did and you expect them to be so open? I wanted it. I wanted it really badly, but um, did I expect it? I don't know. What success you've had. I know. It's been fantastic. How it's will this change lives? Yeah. How will the period products available for warehouse group staff change yeah. lives? The thing that we focus on at the period place is period equity, not period poverty. Period poverty is so intrinsically linked with people not being able to afford products, and yeah. period equity is so much more than that. It's about reducing stigma, accessing period education, and accessing period products when you need them. So for us, our big storytelling angle is it's, periods aren't that exciting. They're not that progressive. They're just something that people have to deal with. And yes. everywhere in a bathroom where there's toilet paper and there's hand soap, there should be period products available. It's just a bodily function. And so that's what the warehouse group are doing. They're ensuring that if a staff member gets caught out at work, if, they, if a period starts unexpectedly, or if um, they've run out of products for the day, then they don't need to go and buy something with their card and go back to the toilet, or they don't need to duck home to get something they can afford. Yeah. It's, it's really not that exciting. Because the word period, most people don't want to make eye contact. They certainly don't want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Why is it important we talk about it? And what happens to women when they get their period and they can't afford to have any products? So we uh, commissioned a national survey uh, at the end of last year through Baiju Consulting and it showed, I've got some stats written down here just so I don't get it wrong, it showed that one in five Kiwis don't like talking about their periods, which is huge, but actually 22% of Kiwis who responded are ashamed and ashamed is so much bigger than just don't feel comfortable talking about it. At The Period Place we advocate for you talking about it how much you want to. If you don't want to talk about it, okay, but don't want to talk about don't choose not to talk about it for the right reasons, mm, mm. not because you're ashamed, not because society tells you there's something wrong with it. And if people can't afford period products, what does that mean? It means they can't leave the house. It means that when they get up in the morning, they can't open the front door to go and live their life. They can't open the front door to go to an optometrist appointment, to get glasses, to go to school. They can't go to work properly. Can you imagine putting some rags in your underwear for the day and trying to focus at school. Nice place to leave it. Very good place to leave it. <laughs> hey, Westpac, you're next, by the way. You know, <laughs> the Red Bank, you got them. Okay? Potentially, yeah. Up on the door. Period Place CEO, Danica Rivel. Appreciate your time. Thank you very good much.